So we are still on the chapter of square matrices. We have been introducing some uh, different concepts. Uh, in the previous video, we introduced the concept of orthogonal matrix, and in the previous one, the concept of uh, Hermitian matrices. In this video, we are going to introduce another concept, the concept of unitary matrices. Okay. So we say that a um, complex matrix A, we say that a complex matrix A is said to be unitary if A times A Hermitian, please check the previous video for this, A times A Hermitian is equal to A Hermitian A and all this is equal to the identity. I think I think it's more or less obvious that a unitary matrix has to be also um, squared, and obviously it has to be necessarily invertible. Okay, let us pick a quick example. We pick this matrix A, one half of one minus i minus 1 plus i, i1, 1, 1 plus i, 1 plus i, minus 1 plus i, and 0. Okay, and let us check if this matrix A is unitary. So in order to check if this matrix is unitary, we pick matrix A, 1 half of all this, and we put it here, times one half, that's why we get one fourth here of A Hermitian. Do not forget that the Hermitian matrix is the one where its um, conjugate transpose is the same as the matrix. Okay, so just do the calculations, and any quick calculation will show you. So, for instance, here one times one is one, right? And then here we would get i squared, right? That's minus 1. And then this 1 times this 1, you will get 1. And that will be 0. So this is 1. Uh, and it's more or less obvious. It's a simple, quick um, calculation to get the the identity here. Okay, so A times A Hermitian, we get the, the identity. So we can say that this particular uh, matrix A is unitary. Oh, I just checked that I have a, a mistake here. Okay, so this is 1 minus I minus 1 plus i, so this one should be 1 minus i minus 1 plus i, right? I was rechecking the calculation, so 1 times 1, for instance, for this entry, 1 times 1 is 1, minus i times i, that's 1, right? And minus 1 plus i times minus 1 minus i, that is obviously 2 right plus 2 so that's 2 plus 1 plus 1 that's 4 dividing by this 4 here we get 1 right and we can check the, the other entries for instance for this one well for this one is really easy right because first line first row second column so that would be minus i minus i that's minus 2i but minus 1 plus i times 1 minus i, you're going to get 2i, right? So minus 2, and that will, you will get 0 here. Really easy, okay? So just do the calculations. This is a very, very, very simple exercise. 